What's going on everybody? It's Patrick from Purple Park Studios and in this video I'm going to show you an easy method that I've been using lately to create huge cities or environments in Blender. So let's jump right in. All right, so I'm here in Blender and the first thing I'm going to do is hit A, X and delete everything. Then I'm going to hit Shift A, Mesh and I'm going to add a plane and just scale it up a bit. So the first thing we're going to do is hit tab to go into edit mode, right click and subdivide about 10 times. Something like that should be good. Then I'm going to hit three for face select mode. And we're just going to go ahead and start selecting a few of these faces on here. I'm going to hit E and Z and move this up. Next, I'm going to hit two for edge select mode. And I'm going to grab some of these edges here. I'm going to hit G and Z and then control B to bevel. Next, I'm going to grab this face and bring this one down, and we're just going to change the size of some of these. I'm going to go ahead and select a couple other uh, faces here. E and Z to pull up. And I'm going to grab a couple of these faces and just scale them in, scale some out like so. And go up here and change this to individual origins and then hit scale to scale a couple down like that. Just going to grab a couple more faces here and we'll be ready to move on. E and Z. And then I'm going to grab this edge here, bring that down like that. Control V to bevel. Maybe I'll grab this edge here, G and Z and pull that one up. And something like that should be all right. And I'm just going to grab all these faces here that I don't need and I'm going to delete them. Now I did leave a couple faces here and because I had an idea and I just want to grab these and just hit or maybe we'll grab these right here. Hit E and Z and bring them up like that. E and Z like that and just grab this like that. Something like that's kind of cool. So now we have one object here and if you'd like you can keep it as simple as this or I'm going to go ahead and add a bit more detail in this case. So I'm going to hit tab to go back into edit mode and then control R. I'm going to add in a few loop cuts and holding down alt I'll left click and then alt E and extrude faces along normals. And I'm just going to go ahead and start adding a little bit of detail um, onto these buildings. So here's something I like to do. I'll go select this loop here and hit I and then inset the faces just ever so slightly like that. And then E and Z to extrude up. It just creates a little, uh, looks like a little like rail around here. From here, you can hit Shift D and duplicate this face, scale it way in like that. S and Z, S and S and Y. Then I'm gonna hit E and X and just extrude out a bit on the X. I to inset, E and X. So basically you're getting the point here, you can add as much detail or as little detail as you want to these buildings. So I'm gonna go ahead and skip through this next part. All right, so I think for now this is good and I might always go back in later and add some more detail, but for the sake of this tutorial, this will be fine for now. All right, so this next step is important. I'm gonna select this plane up here and I'm gonna double left click and I'm gonna rename this city instance. And I'm gonna also double left click this collection and rename this to city instance as well. And you want to make sure that you don't have anything else in this collection. So if you're in a bigger scene, you have other things, you wanna make sure that this little city that we've created here is in its own separate collection. So I'm gonna real quick right click and add a new collection and I'm gonna call this city base. And I'm gonna hide the city instance collection and I'm just gonna real quick hit shift A mesh and I'm gonna add in a circle. And I'm just gonna scale it way up like that tab to go into edit mode, one for vertice mode and hit F to fill. Then I'm gonna hit I for inset and just inset like this. And then I'm gonna hit, and then I'll hit control R and I'm just gonna add in a bunch of loop cuts like this. Maybe about four like that. Then I'll hit seven for top mode, three for face select mode. And I'm just gonna go ahead and, and I'm just gonna go ahead and start selecting some of these faces here and I'm going to delete them.
So now I've got something like this, and I'm just gonna tap back into edit mode, grab this middle face here, inset one more time, hit E and Z, and then I'm gonna scale that like this, add a couple loop cuts, Alt left click this edge loop here, Alt E, and extrude like this. Then I'm gonna right click and shade smooth and go down here and just correct the normals. So I'm gonna click on this circle here and go up to geometry nodes and I'm gonna hit new to add in new geometry node setup. And we can go ahead and turn on the city instance collection here. I'm just gonna select the city instance and hit control A and apply all the transforms and I'm gonna hit G and X and just move it out of the way. So I'll go ahead and click back on my circle and I wanna go up here and grab the city instance and just drag it in like that. And you'll see I have this object info node now and we're gonna use this in just a moment. So next I'm gonna hit Shift A and I'm gonna search for instance on points. We'll grab an instance on points node and drop it right in here so that the geometry is going from geometry to points and from instances to geometry like that. From here we can go ahead to our object info node and grab this and we can plug it into instance. And it's gonna be really big right off the bat so we can go ahead and change all these values to something like 0.01 So now you can see we get something like this, but it looks a little bit uniform and we're gonna wanna scatter this up a bit more. So you can hold down the left button on the mouse and drag down and then holding down shift, you get a very precise, um, more accurate way of scaling the city to your liking. I'm gonna try something like 0.1. I'm gonna try something like 0.02. So something like that's starting to look kind of cool. So I'm gonna close this object info node by left clicking right up here. And I'm gonna hit shift A and I'm gonna search for a random value node. I'm gonna go ahead and plug the value into the scale. And once again, you'll see that it's like a huge mess. So we can go ahead and change this maximum to 0 0.01. And that makes everything a lot smaller again. And then from here, holding down shift and then the left mouse, we can just scroll up and down and dial something in to our liking. I'm gonna try 0.02 again. So that's starting to look pretty cool. So just a couple quick tips here or notes. Um, if we select our circle, the original circle, and if I go to my modifiers tab and I just click this little icon right here, that will hide the geometry node setup. So if I wanna make adjustments to the shape of the city, I can hit tab, go into edit mode, Say for example, I wanna make it a little bit higher up here. I can hit G and Z, something like this. Let's grab a couple of these and bring them up like this. And now if I go to my modifier properties and turn back on geometry nodes, you'll see that the cities are extended up like this. So over here is the original city instance right here. So the cool thing is if I need more detail in my city, I can go back at any time, tap into edit mode and say for example, we don't like this building here. I can select this top face here, hit G and Z, and if you look over here, so I can make adjustments to the city at any point that I need to. So yeah, this is the way I've been using geometry nodes to make huge cities. I hope this video was helpful. If you found it helpful, don't forget to give it a like and hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.